Hello everyone, my name is Li Shengfeng from China, and I'm a teacher of the Department of Physical Education of Xinzhou Luoma College of Sanxi Province. And now I'm studying for a doctor's degree at the College of Physical Education and Sports of Beijing Luoma University. My research mainly focuses on the theory and the practice of lion dance. In this report, I'll elaborate and analyze the meanings associated with the Kaiguan Dianjin ritual in lion dance performances. To begin, let's have a look at the Chinese name of the lion dance ritual of Kaiguan Dianjin. It is a well-known terminology in China. Kaiguan means turn on the light. It comes from Taoism and Buddhism. It is a ritual through which adults are given spiritual essence. About Dianjin, the expression comes from an ancient story in which a famous artist called Brina painted a dragon into knife by putting in the pupils of its eyes. So, through the Kaiguan Dianjin ritual, the symbolic function is to deify the lion shaped puppets that then give a new, give a new name, Shen Tou which means sacred lion. According to the survey, there are original differences in the rituals. As the interviewees said, every village has a unique case, but the main procedures of the ritual are the same. Following the modern of rites of passage, the Kaguan Dianjin ritual of lion dance can be divided into three stages. Separation, margin, and aggregation. At the first stage, the lion shaped puppets cannot be called shinto. They are just handicrafts which have been purchased from factories. When the ritual begins, at the auspicious time that has been carefully chosen, the puppets are taken down to the floor in front of a water or shiluan. Two lion dancers then take their place in one puppet. The exact usually a priest, a respected elder, or the culture of the troop, of a sacrifice to invite immortals. Then grapefruit leaves, which are believed to exorcise evil spirits, are tied to the horn on the head of puppets along with red cloth strips. This procedure is called Zhanghua Gua Hong. It refers to an ancient Chinese ritual performed when someone was on his way back hometown after winning the final imperial examination. Zhanghua Gua Hong is used to imply winning all the challenges. At this time, the lion-shaped puppet is no longer handicrafts, but the prospective centers. Their identities have separated from handicrafts, and so the so-called right of separation is over. Let's go to the next stage where Dianjin is really performed. In fact, Dianjin refers to stabling not only the eyes, but also some of the other parts of the body of the lion shaped puppet. The various parts are the forehead, ears, nose, legs, home, body, and so on. Which parts are chosen into the procedure and the sequence of each part will be different due to the variation in customs. But one critical thing should be used. That is Senoba, which is called Zhu Sha in China. In the Yin Yang theory, Senoba is considered as something extremely young. Therefore, it can expel evil spirits who belong to the category of Yin. At the beginning of the procedure of Dianjin, a special liquid is obtained by soaking cinnabar into white wine. Then the exactor dips a writing brush into this liquid and starts to dianjin. Usually, when the exactor 
City plan. Every part, someone cried out the other special words, which match different parts. Meantime, a next squad sergeant is done to clean the area, using grapefruit leaves dipped into water and sprinkled around the part that is stippled. During such process, the lion-shaped puppet is identified between handicraft and shinto until the end of the stage. This process represents the rights of margin. Let's now enter the third stage. As the engine has been done, the lion-shaped puppets wake up to shinto thanks to the life and spirituality gained through the previous procedure. Two lion dancers manipulate one puppet and perform a series of actions to show the process of waking up. The actions performed are rubbing eyes, picking ears and nose, brushing teeth, stroking beard, washing face, licking blood and so on. Later, the lions salute the altar and the four directions and then complete a show named Tsai Ching, which contained a whole story. At the end of the story, the lions pick up a handful of green vegetables that carry the symbolic meaning of getting wealth and fortune. At this point, the rest of aggregation has been completed. In this stage, salute refers to the expression of gratitude and honor by the dear friend lions to the immortals invited, as well as heaven and earth. And all of the performances reflect the recognition and the affirmation of the new holy identity of the lions. Through this process, the lions are represented as possessing no powerful vitality and psychic abilities. Through the ritual Kaguan Dianjin, the lion shaped puppets have eventually been deified. Because the various materials and the procedures represent specific meanings, the religious and cultural meaning of this process need to be built together by the priest, the members of the lion dance troupe, and the audience. In the following section, I examine for what kind of occasion is the Kaguan Dianjin ritual performed. The first occasion is just the one I have discussed above. That is, after a new lion shaped puppet is purchased by the troop, and the model of the ritual on this occasion is broadly accepted in the circle of lion dance. The other occasions include the beginning ceremony of lion dance competition and the business activities. Usually, on such two occasions, the ritual has different meanings, implied with simplified process. This phenomenon makes the ritual seem more mundane, as its process can be modified at will to meet certain needs. On the occasion of competition, the process of rights is extremely shortcut to keep only the ritual of spoiling by officials on the scene. The symbolic meaning shifts to playing for the country and the society as a whole. Regarding the occasion of business activity, the situation is different again. The process may be a little more complex than the one of the competitions. The purpose of the ritual is to give the best wishes for the merchants who pay to have the lion dance trip to perform. Furthermore, the lion-shaped puppets used on the occasion of both competition and the business are usually not new ones because they have already performed the ritual at least one time. This alienation, due to the compromise to the secular world, harnessed the adaptation and the change of folk culture. There is a process of negotiating its existing space 
in the context of social change. But there should be a certain bottom line for such adaptation and change to maintain the soul of the original traditional culture. No matter sacred or mundane, the logics of existence of the Kagwandian ritual in the current social context is to maintain both its traditional elements and its vitality. What we should do is to explore and grasp the process of inheritance and the development of lion dance performance, then make them more balanced. That's all. Thank you.